Hello everyone, it's Linda. Welcome to Linda P's Place and happy weekend. This is Saturday morning, so I'm uh, doing some Saturday morning crafting, trying to catch up on my Marguerite Miller uh, collage challenge. This is week four, um, this is week number 33. So, I hope everyone's doing well today. Um, and let's just jump right into this. I started getting this ready a few days ago, and then um, I had some company, and I forgot to come back and finish it, so it's been sitting here on my desk. So anyway, I had used some of this chalky gesso paint um, because I had another idea for what I was going to do. Um, and then I completely changed my mind, so my page is gessoed, but um, I didn't really need to do that. I just didn't know that I didn't need to do it. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> we can get started here. Um, I have cut all my prompts again like I did last week, because I really liked the way that worked, and it didn't take up as much space. So... The first thing I'm going to put down is this, and <clears throat> this is because it has a bumpy surface. <laughs> I'm using the um, fence, <clears throat> and it came out of uh, this Bride's magazine. So I'm going to first put this down, except not that, because I got something to go underneath there. Um, so anyway, let's get this down. If I can remember what I was doing, I hope I don't forget. Um, and do something different, which is very possible for me to do because my short memory anymore, I don't seem to remember things as well as I used to. But I managed to get by, and I guess that's all that matters right now. Um, Later on, it might become an issue. Uh, we'll see as I get older. Um, so let's get this down first. Make sure that didn't stick. So far, so good in my plan here. Okay, it's not too bad. Now, I had to use a napkin. Let's see, what was the prompt? Prompt uh, bonus was a decorative nap napkin, but napkin, but I'm gonna use this little one that I got uh, just not too long ago. I got a thrift store. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm going to use this uh, I don't like to use um, decoupage stuff too much on a page like this. I'd rather use some glue and put it down. So I'll just get this down. to wipe some of that away and I got too much to be careful with that stuff okay I'll let that dry and then I'll put something over it to make sure it's not sticky anymore okay get this piece down And then I can finish putting this down. So. Yeah, I haven't had too much going on this week. I've been staying at home, staying out of trouble, not spending money. You know how that is. Um, 
There we go. Um, so, don't have a whole lot to talk about. Um, mostly just been sitting and stitching on my uh, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. Oh, I made me a pin cushion. I did that too. Didn't turn out too great, but hey, my pins go in and out real easy, so <laughs> that's all that really matters on that. Um, now, let's see. I've got my something bumpy. I've got my napkin. Um, then I needed a something bumpy, a napkin. Something in the shape of a triangle. Well, I tell you what, I'm using I'm using that mountain as my triangle. It's a little lopsided, but I'm using it. Um, let's see. I was going to put this. I think I was going to put this right here. It says, <clears throat> There are times when nature asserts herself, thrusts herself as it were upon us, and emphatically proclaims her glory and power. It is good for us to come under her dominance then, for if we have within us a soul worthy of the name, we cannot but feel our true position and standing in the great creator's plan. So I thought this was a great uh, little piece of uh, a book to put here because the mountains and the flowers and even the beautiful bride, so that's going there, and this just came out of an old book that I have called Betty Greer, that's the name of it, and it is um, a great book. I don't, I've never read it. <laughs> it's just great in the sense that these pages keep giving and giving, and it's sort of a, it's got some cotton in it, um, it's an old book. It's, it's got like rag paper, not true, true rag paper, because I don't think um, there's much of that left around other than in um, old, old stuff from the 17 and 1800s, maybe. Um, I don't think that it's easy to come across. I mean, it's got a little bit of cotton in it, I can tell that, but it's not... I mean, I have a, a very few treasured pieces of rag paper, and this has a little bit um, thicker feel than the other ones that I have. I don't know. I, just don't pay attention to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just giving my, my thoughts on it, which um, don't necessarily mean too much. Okay, so now I'm going to put these down. I know I'm kind of all over the place with my um, stuff. Okay, I'm just going to lay this right here. That's my book page. And a decorative napkin. going to go down here. I might do all the rest of my pages this way. I really like this idea. Um, something burp, bump, bumpy. <laughs> now let's see. Do I want where do I want to put that? There. Here. I think I'll put it right here. Um, something in the shape of a triangle, that's going to be my mountain. And I think it's also going to be my something silver. Well, I don't know. I have to, I, I really didn't come up with anything silver. I mean, I could leave it off because I used the bonus, but... I really challenge myself to use all the prompts, so I'm going to put something silver somewhere. And I'm using um, 
I have this silver thread, and I was thinking about put, giving her a necklace, but then I decided no, and I think I'm going to put my something silver right here and let that be the closure of the gate. What do you think? Does that work? I think it will. Um, I know you have to kind of stretch your imagination for some of these prompts. My hand shakes so bad. It's hard to get my glue down. Okay. So I'm going to put this here. And I need to hold that for a minute and hope it dries. I might have to use a different glue. I think that might hold, maybe. I could have used a little piece of chain, but I didn't think about it. So... not staying. Well, you know what? When all else fails, you get the stickles. <laughs> I'll stickle me a, a thing across there. I don't have the patience to wait on it. If I can keep my hand still enough to do it. This might have been a better idea anyway. just have to leave it open so it can dry. I messed it up a little bit, but that's okay. Maybe wipe some off. Try to clean it up a little bit. There, that's my silver. <laughs> I hope you can see it. Not sure. I think you can. Okay, and I just need to put that on. <clears throat> and I think that's it. I think that's all of them. Too much glue on that. So there we go. So we've got the triangle, the book page, the something silver, something bumpy, and a bon the bonus is a decorative napkin. So that is week 33 done and in the books, so to speak. Um, I did with my, here it is. So yeah, we're done with this one. Can't believe how fast the, month, the year is going by. Of course, I think everybody says that, especially when you're doing something like this and every week. You just, you know, you complete another pay week and and now we're, you know, over halfway through the year and it just keeps on. We're actually 19 weeks, 19 weeks, I think. 19 and 33, isn't that 52? I believe it is. If I'm, or maybe we have, not 19, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> can't do math in my head, yeah, that's right, 
19 weeks left. That's right, I was right all the time. 19 weeks is all we have left. Christmas is going to be here before we know it, isn't it? Okay, that's it for this week. So I will uh, let you go. Uh, so take care of yourselves. Be safe, be well, be happy, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.